Tuberculosis, often abbreviated as TB, holds a position among the deadliest diseases worldwide. It is caused by a bacterium known as Mycobacterium tuberculosis. This bacterium predominantly targets the lungs, but it can also impact other parts of the body. Tuberculosis is infamous for its extended duration of symptoms and has the potential to inflict severe lung damage if left untreated. The transmission of tuberculosis occurs through the inhalation of minute droplets released from the coughs or sneezes of an infected individual. In developing nations, approximately 5% of the population carries tuberculosis, mainly in a latent form, where it remains inactive. The more severe form, active tuberculosis, affects a smaller proportion of people. The progression of tuberculosis symptoms is gradual, typically worsening over weeks or months, and in some cases, even years. Without treatment, the disease can be lethal. The primary symptom is a persistent cough, lasting more than three weeks and often intensifying at night or in the morning. The cough may be dry or accompanied by phlegm. Other signs include unintentional weight loss, often noticeable over months, a persistent low-grade fever, especially in the evenings, night sweats, and ongoing fatigue. Historically, individuals with tuberculosis were often underweight, reflecting the disease's impact on weight and overall health, and frequently appeared pale due to anemia. These symptoms are indicative of active tuberculosis, where the bacteria proliferate, primarily in the lungs. In contrast, latent tuberculosis is characterized by the presence of the bacteria in the body without active multiplication, and it is not contagious. Individuals with latent tuberculosis exhibit no symptoms and have a 5-10% to lifetime risk of the disease becoming active, a risk that increases with a weakened immune system or recent infection. To determine if someone is no longer contagious following treatment, the primary indicator is the absence of symptoms. A lack of tuberculosis symptoms generally suggests a reduced likelihood of contagion. Definitively, continuous negative sputum test results confirm a non-infectious state. Patients often become non-contagious within the first two weeks of treatment, but this is not always the case. Tuberculosis is transmitted through airborne droplets or aerosols released when an infected person coughs, sneezes, or talks. These bacteria can remain airborne for several hours, posing a risk of inhalation by others. However, tuberculosis is not as easily transmissible as diseases like measles or chickenpox. Transmission typically requires extended exposure in poorly ventilated environments. Brief encounters are less risky, but living with a family member with tuberculosis significantly increases the risk. Infectivity is influenced by various factors, including the severity and frequency of the infected person's cough, lung involvement, and environmental conditions. The estimated infectivity rate of tuberculosis is around 5%, meaning there is approximately a 5% chance of contracting tuberculosis from exposure to an infected person. Tuberculosis can lead to anemia, particularly when it involves the gastrointestinal tract. The immune response to tuberculosis often results in inflammation and enlargement of lymph nodes in the neck, groin, and armpits, which can be either painful or painless. For diagnosis, tests such as the Mantu tuberculin skin test or interferon gamma release assays are utilized to detect the immune response to the tuberculosis bacteria. Chest x-rays are a common tool for identifying lung involvement. The definitive diagnosis of active tuberculosis is made by culturing Mycobacterium tuberculosis from sputum samples. The treatment for tuberculosis involves a multidrug regimen over six months, typically comprising antibiotics like isoniazid, rifampicin, pyrazinamide, and ethambutol. The success rate of this first-line treatment is around 85%. However, about 3% of tuberculosis cases are multidrug resistant, MDRTB, with higher rates in previously treated individuals. For MDRTB, second line antibiotic therapies are employed over 24 months, achieving effectiveness of about 56%.
The diagnosis of MDRTB involves culture tests and sensitivity testing to antibiotics, but this process can take several months due to the slow growth rate of the bacteria. GeneSpurt is a more rapid test that identifies genetic mutations in resistant strains of tuberculosis. The Bacille calmet guerin BCG, vaccine is administered to prevent tuberculosis, but its efficacy varies. It is less effective against pulmonary tuberculosis, about 50% effective, but more effective in preventing severe forms like meningitis, particularly in children. The protective effect of the vaccine tends to diminish over approximately 10 years. Generally, the vaccine is safe for individuals with normal immune function, but it can pose risks for those who are immunocompromised, although such cases are exceedingly rare. Full protection from the vaccine can take up to a year to develop, but some immunity begins to form within the first few weeks.